Manila, capital of the Philippines, is the centre of the country's economic, political, social and cultural activity. In recent years, the city has attracted a wide range of commerce activities from over the world. This has increased the demand for fast-moving consumer goods. Monday Nissan is one of the leading manufacturers of perishable consumer goods in the Philippines, known for iconic Filipino instant noodle brand Lucky Me and leading products in the biscuit and snacking categories. With presence in over 30 countries, the company is looking to boost its operations and become a significant food and beverage player in the Asia-Pacific region. Mond Nissin started in the late 70s. We started with a small company in um, Chinatown, in Manila. We set up a factory here in, in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Um, from there, we, we initially started with biscuits. We are manufacturing biscuits um, that were franchised from, from Japan. Last 10 years, we've been growing about uh, 10 to 15 percent in terms of volume. So we're uh, increasing annual growth to about 15,000 to 20,000 cartons in a day. When you calculate that kind of growth and that kind of throughput, you would need uh, a bigger warehouse. A warehouse where you would be able to not only contain the products that you need to store in, but would also have the throughput that's required. The Philippines lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire, which causes the country to have frequent seismic and volcanic activity. One of the large or key components of the project was the um, seismic engineering that went into this job which requires a high level of uh, very complex engineering to bring this site to realisation. The scope included um, design, engineering, manufacturing, uh, shipping and installation of um, 12,200 pallet positions for Mondinism. We are using Dexion 808, a special ASRS uh, product range that we introduce and supply to the Philippines. We choose this Dexion 808 range because it allows us to build the wrecking system by block at the ground. All components are fitted at the ground level. It then lifted up to the required level, joined only by bolt and nuts. This allows us to complete the installation faster, safer, and also within the timeline that is required. Uh, we also had to meet the stringent requirement of the FEM standard that integrate and interface between the racking system and also the SR machine. The area where we have a lot of earthquakes, uh, uh, massive earthquakes, a lot of us were considered in terms of how the racks would be moving, um, in terms of uh, of the magnitude of the earthquakes. Um, there's specific clearances that we had with the racking and the, the building so that when the racking sways, it won't affect the building as much. The seismic performance of storage racks consists of two components, the performance of the rack itself and the response of stored contents. Racks can pose safety hazards if they collapse, partially collapse or overturn. Content can pose falling hazards if they become dislodged and fall to accessible areas. Safety is one of our key pillars within Dexion. It's essential, should there be a natural disaster, that none of our facilities fail. Especially in the case of Mondinissant, being a key supply chain provider, it's very important to us to expedite the recovery should this happen. When we partnered with Dexion, um, they were able to show us um, the best way to optimize the lot that we had. Uh, and reduce the building cost. We're on a footprint of about 7,000 square meters where we can maximize the storage capacity. On a normal um, racking system, you can only go six high, seven high. Uh, in an ASRS like this one, you can go 15 high. So you immediately double the height requirement. You've increased the velocity, I think, probably about three times. For you to retrieve one pallet in an ASR, it should probably take about 30 seconds to about a minute per pallet. You reduce a lot of time. You lose time, you reduce manpower, and you increase your throughput as well. Right now, we're not yet in full operation of the building. If you're growing the business as much as we are, you have to look long term. Yeah, you have to consider uh, other factors that would affect your growth. It's something that uh, we're struggling with um, in terms of space. Um, but in terms of uh, support from Dexion, we will be adding some more capacity in the, um, the next year or so. The realisation component of this project was superbly executed. Having the local knowledge is essential to the success of any project. 
This project is truly world class and something that everybody at Dexon is very proud of.